Hey, what's up guys? Bajiri here. Happy New Year, by the way. Today is New Year's Eve, and I'm recording this. Uh, th these are some twos that uh, that Jenny and I did last night together. We have not done arena together in a long, long time. But I was like, Jenny, help me cap my war. I mean, my uh, death knight, please. So she's like, All right. Now keep in mind, for these arenas, Jenny has no PVP gear at all. She is rocking a mighty zero percent PVP power, and she is still healing like a boss, bash cloning like a beast, and I uh, just, you know. It just taking care of business in general, but uh, we had a lot of fun with these arenas, and I did want to do some arena commentary for you guys, since I feel like it's been a long time since I did these. But I really enjoy, look at that, popping out the, just the, the victory bubble, stole bubble from this guy a long time ago, but um, this was, this was literally our first arena match together, so Jenny's MMR is <laughs> really low. <laughs> Just because it, g it gives you an artificially like lowered MMR, like pad zero MMR lower, you know, for your first arenas, because this is Jenny's first arenas of the season. But like I said, she beasted it, and we ended up playing some uh, some pretty fun matches. As you guys know, I really do enjoy my Death Knight, but I have a lot to learn on my DK. Um, to give you guys just a general idea of how I play my Death Knight, um, I play it almost like I would imagine you play a Warlock, right? Like you want to get your dots on everybody as much as possible. Just spread your damage around and see what's taking damage. Make the swap to that. Of course, for the match like this one, your target, you're going to pretty much already pick your target as soon as you see who you're fighting. You're fighting a Shadow Priest and a Warrior. Obviously, if you hit the Warrior, the Warrior is a tankier target than the Shadow Priest in general, and the Shadow Priest is going to be able to shield the Warrior and heal the Warrior. Whereas, if you go for the Shadow Priest, you're going to limit his damage. You're going to limit, you're not, I mean, he's going to try to heal himself, but that's not doing damage to you. And the Warrior really doesn't have much they can do to peel for their Shadow Priest. However, as you saw there, uh, this warrior is doing a lot of damage to me and Jenny, especially <laughs> because she doesn't have any gear. So as soon as the warrior uh, go makes contact with Jenny, I did man manage to kill a Shadow Priest, but you saw there. I gripped him, he charged, I gripped him again, he leaped, and I stunned him. Now, that's going to piss any warrior off tremendously, and it's also effective. So <laughs> you see there, he this warrior leaps in. Just go ahead and grip him back, tell him to stay there. The monk's trying to try to make contact with Jenny here. I'm going to stun the monk. So their strat, obviously, is going to one-shot this druid and unfortunately they are going to be successful in that strat but i've got my unholy frenzy up i've got dots on both targets i've got my gargoyle hitting this monk he doesn't seem to think he needs a touch of karma so he's going to get soul reapered and he's just going to fall over dead so now this is leaves me with a 1v1 with a fury warrior so what i'm trying to do right now is i still have my my gargoyle out my pet's hitting this warrior i'm just going to chain the vice this guy throw death coils at him keep my conversion running and try to get away from him i'm going to stun him there he's going to trinket that i've got a soul reaper up does proc. I've got necrotic strikes, just a few of them, to try to take care of his second win, and my dots are going to take him down and take him out. So, this is an arena match that um, I didn't start for apps until too late. <laughs> well, not too late, but a little bit later in the match. These guys, whenever you fight Lock Boomkin, it's pretty scary. They can do a lot of dot pressure to you, they can set up CC really well, and the Boomkin off heals like a monster. So, uh, my strat here is going to be just w hit what I can. I mean, I'd love to hit the Boomkin, but they are really, really slippery. But we catch him in the middle of the map here. Jenny has got him in a root. He's going to blink out of that. So I'm not going to chase him. I'm just going to swap to this uh, to this Warlock here. And Jenny's heals are able to keep me up through their damage. And Jenny's doing a great job of Cycloning and CCing whatever target I'm not hitting. So as you can see there, I'm on the lock right now. So she's going to put that Boomkin into a bunch of Cyclones. And uh, allow me to get some un you know unpeeled damage up on this Warlock. He is going to pour it away. I've got a Necrotic Strike up on him. So if he catches a little bit of Boomkin heals, it's not going to help him out too much. My Gargoyle is hitting him. But now I'm going to swap right back to this Boomkin. They're going to try to Dot Cleave us down, but I'm an Unholy Death Knight. I can Dot Cleave them just as hard. So I'm going to make that swap to the Druid, get a Soul Reaper up on him. A few Necros later, he's going to go down. So, as like I said, as a Death Knight, my strat is to Dot targets. You know, Dot everybody I can, and then... uh focus on one target that I'm going to be putting my necrotic strikes into, my death coils into, and have my pet targeting. So, uh, when you're playing with the healer, as a death knight, you can definitely go pretty ham, but you do want to make sure you got your eye on your healer. Uh, can keep your mind on uh, what you're fighting. So, in this case, we're fighting a Resto Druid Frost Mage. So, I know that Jenny's undergeared. I really don't want this Frost Mage to get their, their setup on Jenny. So, I'm just going to go ahead and 1v1 this Frost Mage in the beginning. Jenny's going to sit in stealth, and their Druid's going to sit in stealth. Right now, Jenny's looking for their Druid isn't able to find him, so I'm just going to 1v1 this Frost Mage for a little while. 
My dots are ticking down. I haven't even used AMS yet. Jenny is able to bash that druid out of stealth. And the druid ice blocks that while the mage ice blocks. So right now, Jenny's going to get cloned. I'm just going to go ahead and ice block myself because I stole an ice block. So we've got three ice blocks down in the arena right now. <laughs> this is pretty funny. So Jenny is getting cycloned, but I really have nothing to worry about right now because I'm sitting in my block. So now that the druid is out and, and without a cyclone, I mean, and without an ice block, I should say, I want to hit this druid a little bit. I'm going to get my dots on him. He's going to run away. At this point, I get deep frozen, and the mage throws his orb at me. So I'm going to AMS that with an IBF to IBF the stun. I'm taking a lot of damage right here, so I'm a little bit afraid. Jenny is going to pop tree form, trying to keep me up. My AMS comes back up because they broke it last time. So I'm going to have another AMS ready, and I want to make another swap to this druid because this mage is running away from me. Really, like I said before, really want to keep my dots up. I applied a necrotic strike to that druid just so it slows his cast speed down a little bit. Still, I'm going to get a gonna get a clone on Jenny so once again gonna be a little bit scared here my pets in a ring Jenny's in a cyclone but I do want to hit this druid a little bit I want to spread this pressure around I know the mage is just gonna be sitting over there casting polymorphs right now but these guys go into full peel mode here and they think I think out of this cyclone they're gonna want to set up on Jenny a little bit gonna throw some ice lances at her meanwhile I'm stuck in a polymorph I'm gonna go back on this mage I do not want them making that swap to Jenny because her 0% PvP power is not gonna be able to heal a whole lot through all this mage damage. She is doing an absolutely amazing job keeping both of us alive through this mage damage. She catches that druid in a full cyclone here, which is going to give me a chance to get some damage rolling on this mage. I'm going to soul reaper him really, really early, hoping that my dots can tick him down. I'm pretty liberal with my soul reapers. I don't, I don't only soul reaper when they're low. I'll, I'll put it, I'll put the soul reaper up at the at, when they're you know even close to top, you know, topped off health, and uh, just hope for the best. So. One of the things I need to get better about and one of the things I'm trying to practice is enraging my pet on time. Sometimes I don't have a rune for it and then I forget about it for a long time, but uh, I'm trying to do it now. So I catch this guy, I kick him on regrowth, catch him in a stun out of that. He's got a soul reaper up on him. He's got necrotic strikes. He's going to go into tree form, but that's not going to be enough. Got a few necros later. Unfortunately, Jenny drops down as well. We trade healers here, but I'm telling her, I'm like, you know what, baby, I got this. I can kill this mage. So he's going to try to ring a frost me. Uh, he's gonna catch me in a ring. I tried to pet stun that or pet interrupt it and uh, it looks like I actually did Well, I'm not sure because the rings on the ground, but doesn't matter pet doesn't, doesn't quite get the interrupt on the ring of frost But I didn't get stuck in it. So it's all good. I'm bringing my pet back around if that mage wants to LOS me I'm just gonna kill his pet and that's fine with me get dots up on the pet and swap back to the mage here I'm feeling like he's gonna use a deep freeze on me here. So I wanted to use my AMS. He's gonna temporal shield I stole his temporal shield. So I'm gonna throw up a temporal shield of my own. He's gonna ice block then I'm going to take this opportunity to kill his, his uh, water elemental. And as you saw, I did put a uh, I did put a soul reaper up on the water elemental before I killed it. That's going to give me a very, very small haste buff. And I'm going to use that haste buff out of the ice block to take this guy out with the rest of my cooldowns coming back up. So, solid match there. And I got Grievous Conquest. Hell yeah. <laughs> so even in the starting gates for this match, Jenny and I were both looking at this comp and we're like, wow, this is going to be a lot of CC. You can imagine just a scatter trap into a fear. That's going to be really, really scary. So we're already watching out for that. There goes the flare. I get I managed to knock the Shadow Priest out. So I'm immediately gonna start hard on the Shadow Priest. I wanna get my dots rolling on both of these guys and definitely want to pump a lot of damage into the Shadow Priest. Hunter pop stampede on me. I get my dots up on the Shadow Priest and all of the stampede. So I'm immediately trying to get my dots onto the hunter. He's gonna scoot by me, looking for a trap on Jenny. Can't really do much now. I am rooted. Luckily, the hunter misses the trap. So I'm gonna run over there, eat this trap for Jenny, and make sure that she doesn't run into it later on down the line. I'm gonna get my conversion rolling, and I am so low health here right now. I don't want to. I could have Lich Born here. That's one of the things that I need to improve on as a Death Knight, and one of the things I've been working on is remembering to use my Lich Heal. So here he goes. Lich Heal's going off. It does barely save my life. AMS coming back up really, really soon. No conversion rolling right now. That would have helped. I'm spamming my AMS. It's up now. Getting some good damage on the Shadow Priest. The Shadow Priest does have to disperse there. I'm running as fast as I can to get this trap, but I don't get it. Luckily, because of the pressure that Jenny and I have been able to put out, um, they are on the defensive as well. So there's a full trap, but they don't just decide to pursue the kill, and it does let me get all nice and topped off of my health bar. So now the Shadow Priest doesn't have a disperse. He's going to get away from me, root me. I'm going to grip him back twice, get my Necrotic Strikes up on him. Hopefully that Soul Reaper goes off. That He just barely got above 35% health, so it does not go off. But I do have a stun for him and another Soul Reaper. I'm going to empower my rune weapon, try to Necrotic Strike this guy a little bit, but I don't think I managed my runes properly. doesn't end up mattering because that Soul Reaper does hit him for about 89k and take him out. So really, really scary match there, but nice healing by Jenny and good defensive cooldowns by me, and we were able to get out of there with a win. So 
this is just our first session of twos with Jenny. I really, really enjoyed this. And uh, I think as, as we go along, get Jenny more gear, she'll enjoy it too. But uh, hey, let me know if you guys liked watching these videos. I'm more than happy to make some more with you guys if we can convince Jenny to do more twos. So be sure to spam in the comments, more twos with Jen Bears. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.